Hello, welcome back to another 1001 Beers You Must Try Before You Die. And I have Claire here with me today. Say hello, Claire. Hello. And Claire is the editor of Explore Reading, who I do uh, pub reviews for. And uh, Claire has brought me back, was the person who brought me back the Boxing Cat TKO beer. Well, I've got a friend to bring it back to <laughs> from China. Um, and Claire is a sort of a resident Reading expert in China, would you say? Uh, yes, a little bit. Um, I guess, yeah, lived there for five years, so yeah. I guess that makes me a little bit... A little bit of an expert. So that beer was excellent, which we had before. So uh, I thought I'd bring Claire in for some beer reviews, um, as she's not been been. She has held the camera for, <laughs> oh, the, for one of the beer reviews. That's right. Uh, with Nathan, which is for the shops, Cornish Pilsner. In the Queen's Head. In the Queen's Head. Yes. So we're we're going to have the other beer from China first. For um, so she, Claire knows we're doing this one, and I've got four more, which I'd, I've never had before. So we'll see how we get on. But this one is the other beer from China. It's first brew, nice ninety five, five point three percent, and it is. Zhujiang beer. Uh, is that pronounced correctly? Close. Is it Zhujiang? Zhujiang. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so we, so which actually means Chinese for Pearl River. It does. Right. Yeah. So that is why it's called Pearl River in here. Now this is a bottle I found in Morrison's. Um, doesn't say it isn't called the name. It doesn't use the label which they actually use in China, but it's exactly the same beer. I guess because it's an imported. Version. It is imported. It says in the back it is indeed from from that brewery. So it's exactly the same beer. I looked it up, uh, and who knew that there, there was going to be uh, the, another crazy beer from China in Morrison's of all places. So, um, Claire, would you do me a favour and read the tasting sure, notes? Sure, of just, course. that bit just there? So, like it has a pale yellow golden colour sitting beneath a slight collar of snow white foam. Sounds very nice. Slender sweetish malt notes on the nose, joined by a whisper of sweet lemon, crisp, light and refreshing on the palate. Um, having had Chinese beers before, I'm assuming light is probably pretty accurate. They're usually quite, um, yes. quite weak beers. Well, it's a good one to start on because, um, you know, this, it's only every day on a Saturday. It's Easter Saturday. It's a good one to start with. Nice, light, refreshing, uh, e e easy to have a go at. So, got some nice Reading Beer Festival glasses here. Beer Festival's coming up soon. Anyone who's in the Reading yeah. area... 3rd 6th of May, uh, Reading Beer Festival. I have to uh, uh, say that uh, obligatory because I'm now the co chair of Reading Camera, which is very exciting. So let's go back to the beer. Uh, Snow White Head, do you think? Not really. A um, little bit. I mean, a little bit. It's actually. I can smell the beer. Yeah, it's actually. I can actually... really smell it. It actually is more fragrant than I was expecting it to be. It's got a very floral nose to yeah. it. Yeah. And it says a wisp of sweet lemon, hmm. which. A little bit. Yeah. It, it smells very much of rice. Yes. Yes. Really. <laughs> has it got rice in it? I bet it has. It does. Um, yeah, if you... Let's it's have a quick look. Uh, imported hops, malt and rice. There we go. There we go. didn't know that. So I smell the rice. Because I've had other beers that have had rice in before. And I, I think I've recognised that scent. Oh, it's, it's, mm. it's right. Well, should we go for the taste? Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. That's not half bad. It's actually much more flavourful than I was expecting mm. it to be compared to um, Qingdao, which is the other yeah, main Chinese beer that you is, get in Chinese restaurants, which is very weak. And this actually does have flavour to it. Well, it is 5.3%, so it's mm. got that alcohol to start with. Um, let's see what it says. So, um, so the brewery was actually set up in 1985 with the help of Interbrew, who are now called AB InBev, who uh, we course, all know, yes. who make Budweiser and, and lots of other stuff. They now they own Mean Time and Miller, everyone, they own everyone. They bought they bought the entire SAB Miller yeah. stable. They also bought Boxing Cat recently from right. the last Chinese beer. Brilliant. <laughs> uh, so it's from the city of, uh, now I'm going to say it's wrong again, can you say it please? Guangzhou. Guangzhou. Yes, which is in um, the south of China, just above Hong Kong. And it's owned in, still owned in partnership with AB InBev, so therefore we've had lots of investment into it. Um, and it is South China's top selling beer. Out of this writing of this book. So it's got the hops are imported. That's actually where you get the flavour from. I mean, I don't know if they even grow hops in China. Probably not. They probably why would they bother? That I don't no, I wouldn't think so. No. no. Uh, malt and then plus rice. That's where you're getting that yep. that smell from. And it uses German yeast. Um, it says, given the excellent tradition of Cantonese cuisine, this is a beer that marries well with a lot of the provinces. Provinces dishes such as wonton soup and steamed scallops with ginger and garlic. 
They also actually, this brewery, it says the brewery actually makes several other variations on the pale lager theme. So when I was looking up this beer in the first place to check whether this was indeed the correct beer, it was quite hard because they make loads of lagers, like tons and tons yeah. of different styles of lager. Uh, but this is their best seller and it is indeed the right beer. So, uh, but it has got quite a nice taste to it. It does. And also it's a darker colour, I think, to other Chinese lagers, definitely. Yeah, it's, and not, other... it's not super light, yeah. like, uh, sorry, I'm called Qingdao. Qingdao. Qingdao, yeah. right. Um, which is dull, really. It's quite yeah, dull. Yeah, it's quite dull. Um, But as far as pills and scope, this would be a lovely beer on a hot summer's day. Oh, sit outside. Yeah, it's actually be, a really nice. It is a really, beer. it is a really nice. And beer. Actually, it's quite, it, it's got a quite floral taste to it as well. Yeah, and I think that makes sense because South China is really quite tropical and humid. Yeah. So it makes sense that it's a good like summery beer. And you've been and you've been to this city, of course. I have, yes, just for a visit. Yeah, but, um, but you yeah, obviously know what the climate is like. So, uh, do you think this would work well in the in that climate? Did you go during the summer? Um, it's pretty much always summer. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, it's yeah, it's hot quite a lot of the of the year and very humid as well. So I think this is, yeah, it being sort of a park summer drinking beer. Yeah, it's fits not quite well. Not too bitter, which I like. It's it's kind of like got like a level of sweetness to it, but not mm. overly sweet. It's more like floral sweet. Um, yeah, it does have that floral, and it is still quite fragrant. It is very fragrant. Mm. Do you think this would pair well with Chinese food? Um, yes, it would. I think it would. And actually, with Cantonese food, it, Cantonese food is very light. It's not very strong flavors. It's very light, so right. it makes sense to have something that's a bit sort of gives you some flavor. Got a bit of a, a base to it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think that's. I I am I actually quite pleasantly surprised. I was expecting this I'm to taste surprised like water. As well, actually, um, I really thought it would be, um, you know, uh, an average. Dr- lager that you could drink yeah i mean I, wonder, easily, I mean but... i wonder how well this sells in morrison's i haven't seen it it's the only uh shop i've ever seen it in and um, i wonder how well it sells them because it isn't really if you look at the design i haven't spoke about the bottle it wouldn't you wouldn't go to the shelf and go oh that sounds like an interesting beer because there's nothing it doesn't say anything about it, it just <laughs> says pearl river beer and then just says lager on the back it literally has no information about it so I think they're kind of underselling that. Yeah. Actually, I mean, they could they do quite well with this beer, actually, in the UK, if they sold this better. This is, I mean, far more flavourful than, say, uh, um... Ah, it's interesting. It's actually only 4.9% for ah, the well, import the version. Ah, the book 5.3. Even yeah. so, it tastes really, really nice. Yeah. If, they, if they did a better job of marketing this, they could do a really good job. They, this is much better than yeah, most... Yeah, I think so. Most, yeah. most lagers you find over here, like the domestic sort of lagers, like, like Carling and... Oh, yeah, it's much more flavourful than yeah, most, I think. Is, like, most average lagers you'd get on tap. I think it's, it's definitely much more a premium yeah. lager. It does remind me somewhat of uh, Kirin Ichiban. Oh, yes, yeah. Um, which I believe is Thai, is it? It's Japanese. Japanese, I oh, sorry. I think, um, yeah. Uh, which is got a bit like that as well. It's quite a premium lager, but... And it sits on the shelf with those sort of beers. But, yeah, interesting they haven't done... They've literally just stuck a bit of English on it. <laughs> I don't know what 12p means. Uh, oh, I don't know. It's got... Uh, what does that say? No, this... I can't read. That's... Um, sp- uh, that's spring, like spring water. Right. Um, I'm not sure. What does that say? Does that say Pearl River? That does says Jujiang uh, Pijo, which is um, Pearl River beer. Ah, right. Yeah. So that's that's in type two versions. Okay, very good. So imported. Oh, it's imported by Kingfisher beer. Oh, okay. And there we go. So they even have their own website, pearlriverbeer.co.uk. Oh, there we go. Uh, and it's also translated into French, bizarrely. It's the only other language it's translated into. Hmm. In fact, yeah, it's translated into French. Yeah, how weird. And it has one thing that's excessive alcohol, so unfortunate health. Okay, well, cheers. Um, well, that's a lovely beer. I think. Yeah, and it's a pleasant surprise. I it's think. a pleasant surprise. Um, yeah, I recommend nice. go and buy Boss from Morrison, see what you think. Um, if you've already had it, or if you're going to have it, let me know what you think. Comment on this beer review. Uh, like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and we'll be back for another beer review, which we don't know what it's going to be, uh, very, very shortly. See you later. Bye-bye.